G'day everyone, Tim from vMix here and today we're going to take a really quick look at the Larix Broadcaster app. Now this is an app available on the Google Play Store for Android devices that allows you to bring in an SRT feed from your phone's camera into your live video production with vMix. Now we think a lot of people are asking about this particular application uh, because there aren't many NDI apps on the Google Play Store at the moment, if any, but there might be some in the future. So hopefully uh, there are in the future because probably a better way to connect up your phone using the local network as opposed to using SRT. Now I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways that you can set this up. So first using the local network, again, it's probably not recommended. It's not really what SRT was built for, uh, but I'll show you how to use the local network. And then I'll also show you how you can connect up your phone outside of your local network to send in your SRT feed into your vMix PC and kind of have a look at some of the settings on how to open up your network on your vMix PC to receive that SRT feed. Okay, so as you can see here, I've gone to the Play Store and I'm currently downloading the app, no hands. Um, I'm downloading it, uh, getting ready to go. So once that's downloaded, I'm going to open it up and get started. So I have my phone here. This is a Samsung Galaxy S9, I believe. Um, I've connected it up via a USB-C cable to HDMI and then a dongle into this laptop here that I'm now recording uh, my tutorial on from my phone. So that's how I've set it up. All right, so now I'm gonna go into the settings of the Larix Broadcaster app and then I'm gonna go to connections and I'm gonna click create new connection, give it a name. We'll call this one inside. So this is using the inside, it's using the local network and I'm gonna click next. Then for the URL, I need to set up an SRT URL for it. So that's going to be SRT colon slash slash, and then it's going to be the local IP address of your vMix PC that you want to receive this SRT feed on. So this is going to be my local IP address, but yours is going to be different. You can check this out by going to the command prompt and then going to IP config, and that will give you the information for your local IP of your device here. Then I need to set up a port number. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a really high port number here. So let's go 11,001. I know that port number isn't in use for anything. So I'm gonna use a high port number like that to send the SRT locally. And I'm going to click next. Now here you can change the mode, passphrase, that type of thing. This is just a basic tutorial. So you can play around with those settings once you've downloaded it and try it all out. Again, don't forget to use the three rules of live streaming to test, test, and test again once you've got this um, sorted out. So then I'm gonna click save down the bottom. And then what I'm gonna do, as you can see at the top here, it's selected here with a green thing. I'm gonna make sure that's selected. Then I'm gonna go back to the app itself. So this is, this is my camera coming through. So now we're gonna to go to vMix. I'm gonna go add input here. I'm gonna stream slash SRT. And then I'm gonna set my vMix PC up to listen out for that SRT video. I'm gonna select the port number that I chose, which was 11,001. I didn't make any changes here with passphrases and that type of thing. So I'm not gonna enter that and then I'm gonna click okay down the bottom here. Then I'm gonna go back to my Larix Broadcast app and turn it on. As you can see down the bottom left-hand corner, it says insights, that's the name of my connection. And as you can see, it's sending through the video into my production down here. So let's just cut to this. Production down, turn off the audio. Uh, and now we've got our video coming through now using SRT is gonna bring in some latency to it. So ideally SRT is probably not the best for the local network. Again, an NDI app would be better to use it for, but as you can see there, uh, it works perfectly fine. You can go through the settings and adjust the latency and the quality settings uh, and that type of thing as well. So I'm gonna quickly just turn this off. So now I'm gonna show you how to set up the app to send your SRT feed from outside your network. So using 4G, LTE or outside internet in order to get into your vMix PC. So first of all, I'm gonna to go to the settings here then I'm gonna to go to connections, new connection. I'm gonna call this one outside and then click next. Okay, so now comes the fun networking part of the video. You thought we were gonna get by without it, but no, here's the fun networking part. So what we need to do now is set up our modem to be able to accept an SRT video coming from our phone into our vMix PC. So we need to make sure that our vMix PC is able to receive UDP video over a specified port from our phone. So let's do that now. So basically a lot of modems configurations, they're all gonna be completely different. Networks are gonna be different. So if you're not sure how to do this, please speak to your network administrator. I don't want you to ruin your internet or open up your network to all sorts of stuff. So make sure you talk to your network administrator if you're not quite sure what's going on. So in order to open this up, what you'll need to do is log into your modem. Now, everything is gonna be called something different. You need to go to the sharing section and you need to open up port sharing or port forwarding. 
Then what you'll want to do is select your vMix PC. So you want to select the computer that you're using on the network to access this SRT video. So you want to select it and then you want to go into port sharing and you want to make sure that you set up a open port for UDP video and then you want to select a port number. So typically, again, like we said before, I like to use a high port number, like 11,000 something, because I know it's not in use by any other protocols or anything like that. But again, you might want to check with your uh, network administrator to see what's open and what you can use and that sort of thing. So that's what I want to do. I want to port share or port forward a particular port. I want UDP video. Uh, and then I want to save those settings. Okay, so once you've set that up, it now gives you the ability to send through SRT video to your network and then add it into your vMix production. So in this URL section now, you'll need to add SRT colon slash slash. So this will be your public IP address that you connect to the internet with. So you'll need to work out what your public IP is. You'll be able to see that in your modem again check with your network administrator if you're not sure about any of this. So you need to enter your IP address here and then colon and then enter the port number that you've added to your modem. So for example, I used 11,111 as the port that I've opened up for my connection. So I'm gonna enter that information here now. Okay, so once you've entered that IP address and the port number, again, you can make changes here about what's coming in, audio, video, and that sort of thing. Uh, passphrase, all that kind of stuff. Again, play around with it and see how you go. And then I'm gonna click save down at the bottom. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and select this outside one. I'll just turn this one off. And then I'm going to go back to the app itself. And then I'm going to connect up this to vMix. So let's go to add input, stream slash SRT. Let's grab this one here. We're gonna be listening on our vMix PC for this SRT video. Grab our port number, which is 11,111, click OK. And then I'm gonna go back to my Larix app here and I'm gonna turn it on. So that should now be on. And let's bring that into our production. And it's now working in the production here. So that is how you can add that app. Again, you can play around with these quality settings to kind of tweak it to get you know, in working as best as you can for your production. So that's an example of how to use the Larix Broadcaster app. If you go into the settings, you can change the kind of quality that it's sending through, the latency and all that kind of thing. So you can play around with it to get it working best for your live video production. So that was a really quick example on how to use the Larix Broadcaster app. If you do have any questions about vMix specifically, feel free to send us an email via the contact page on vmix.com. Now, as we didn't make this app, there isn't much troubleshooting we can do, unfortunately. So if you do put comments about this is broken, that doesn't work, our response is probably going to be contact the app developer or send us an email. But yeah, unfortunately, there's not much troubleshooting that we can do. Now, networking is pretty tricky. So there's a lot of different things that can and can't go wrong with SRT and especially with phone apps and that sort of thing. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll stream you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vmix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.